Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a Halloween transformation look into Punchline, who is Joker's new girlfriend and she was recently introduced into the Batman comics. She has a very eccentric look just like Harley and she has a very cool purple black latex outfit. I love her hair, the blunt bangs with the super long high pony, but I really love most of all her makeup. She has clown makeup, but it just ties so well with the rest of her look. I prefer her aesthetic and her look a lot more over Harley's look, so I'm really excited to do her look today, and I'm gonna use my faux bangs and everything, and really try to transform myself. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm first gonna prime my face with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I've been really enjoying this primer. And I saw that Milk also recently came out with a Hydro Grip setting spray, which I definitely want to try. But I have a few setting sprays right now, so when I'm in need of one, I will definitely purchase that one next. She has a white base, or at least a base very close to the shade of white. So I'm going to use a very light foundation. I'm going to use the Hydrating Longwear Foundation from Fenty Beauty in the shade 150. I'm just going to spread this all over my face. I'm going to use the entire sample. And now we're just going to buff this into the skin. This foundation smells so lovely. Of course, we're going to blend this all the way down the neck. If I didn't have so many piercings, I would definitely blend foundation over my ears. Onto concealer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade light peach. This, I think it is the lightest shade. It's super pale because I like a really light concealer. And then I just balance everything out with a lot of bronzer. When I would use this, um, I mean, <laughs> with my correct foundation shade. I've been wanting to do a clown makeup look. I have attempted it um, this season, this spooky season, but it was just not working out. So really excited to do this one. Okay, so we're gonna do the eyes first and then we will do the face afterwards. I'm gonna take the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula in my Casey Holmes collaboration. I have started using the Butter Bronzer again because I totally forgot I had it because I've just been getting bored of using the same bronzers and I'm really enjoying it again. So I'm just going to use this as my transition shade. So we are going to apply at the outer lash line and swoop it upwards to connect it with the upper shadow. Okay, moving on. Now I'm going to take the Meat Matte Nude Palette from The Balm. I'm going to take the shade Matte Abdul, which is a really nice gray shade, and I'm going to apply this all over my lid. And we're going to pack this on. And blend the edges into the crease. I want this gray shade to be very opaque. So just keep packing on the color until you reach your desired opacity. And now I'm going to take my Beauty Bay Nude Palette. And I'm going to take the black shade, Illicit. And we are going to pack this on the outer corner of the eyes. Just like so. And I'm going to run a bit on my lash line as well. I'm just going to pack this color on first and then I'm going to grab a different brush to blend the edges. I 
and again just keep packing the color on until it's as intense as you'd like it to be. Just be gentle with the blending when you're blending dark colors because if you just blend too fast and harshly it's going to go everywhere. And we are also going to bring this shadow across the lower lash line. I'm just going to pack a bit more on my lower lash line once again. And just blend it out. This eye is done. I am going to apply mascara, some outer corner lashes, and I'm going to line my entire waterline with black eyeliner, and then I will come back with the eyes done. Okay, so I am finished with the eyes. I did decide to go over with liquid liner and just do a line on my lower lash line and do a thin line on my... Wait, did I say lower lash line? I did a, a thick line on my upper lash line and a very, very thin line on my lower lash line with liquid eyeliner. And I've just filled in my eyebrows, but she has black eyebrows. So I am lightly going to... No! Oh. Going to lightly go over my eyebrows with some black shadow. And just go over it lightly. Oh, that is dark. Uh, yeah, in between my eyebrows, everything is nice and blended. I'm just going to take this shade Delicate from the Nude palette from Beauty Bay, and I'm just going to use this as my brow bone highlight. And my inner corner highlight as well. Mm. I could have actually glued my eyebrows, the ends of my eyebrows, to lift my eyebrow, but I've tried many times to glue my eyebrows and I'm not great at it. I definitely would love for someone to do it on me who knows how to do it really well and teach me how to do it most effectively on my eyebrows. But now on to the face. I'm going to slightly contour and I'm going to take the butter bronzer once again. We're going to chisel out this face. Which is a very tiny nose. So we will contour that heavily. I'm going to also go in with the Bahama Mama bronzer from the Balm just because this is a bit deeper and I'm just gonna go in the backs of my cheeks to further contour it some more. Okay to contour my nose I'm going to take my Anastasia contour kit and I'm going to take the middle shade. So we are going to go down the sides of the nose. I like to flare my nostrils sometimes. We are going to go around the ball of the nose. Just quickly below my lip before I forget. And then finish off contouring the nose. And then we're just going to blend everything out. Okay, now on to blush. She has two huge circles of blush. And it is outlined with a red shade. And then it is filled in with a corally pink shade. So I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics 10 color blush palette. And I'm going to first draw the circles with this shade over here. I'm going to outline the circles.
definitely need. The shade isn't deep enough. So I'm going to go into my Bright Palette from Beauty Bay. And I'm going to go into the red shade over here called Hot Stuff. I haven't done costume makeup in a really long time. Okay, normally I would do the second outline, but I really just want to see how this one is going to come out. So I am going to take this coral shade from the BH blush palette. And I'm going to fill the blush circle in. Go back and outline it once again. Okay, time for the nose. I'm going to just draw a red circle and fill it in. Yeah, I'm gonna take my Take Me Back to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm gonna go in with this deeper red. Oh yeah, she has two dots beneath her eyes, so I'm going to take my Kasha Wink Stamp Eyeliner. And I'm just going to draw two little circles um, beneath my eye. Yeah, I want to do this nice and quick because I don't want my hand to shake or anything. Okay, this one ended up being a bit bigger, so I'm just going to fix the other one. I'm going to go back in with the Beauty Bay Nude Palette, and I'm going to go into the shade Nutmeg, just over here, to do the faux freckles. Yeah, and we're just going to dot a ton all across. A bit over the blush. I'm just gonna tap them out. Okay, and now, lastly, one of the most exciting parts for me is the black lipstick. I'm gonna be taking the Kappa D liquid lipstick in Witches. First, I'm actually gonna take the Urban Decay 24/7 Glide On pencil in Zero. It's almost done. I love the 24-7 Glide On pencils and I'm going to use this to act as a lip liner to outline my lips. I'm going to um, round out my cupid's bow because she has nice, full, round, plump lips. I'm going to round it out. I did use this in my last video and I remembered that you have to apply two coats because the first coat is quite sheer. So I'm just going to let this dry and then I'm going to apply a second coat. But while I wait, I'm going to set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm really happy with how it came out. I feel I did the makeup to a T. My face just feels so um, dry right now. I just have so much powder on. I'll never forget the day I wore black lipstick to school in high school. <laughs> I just can't believe how bold I was. Like, 
sometimes I look back and I'm just so surprised at myself that I did certain things makeup wise. And I remember I, I totally forgot I had a French oral that day, so I had to go in front of my whole class with my black lipstick on. And like at the time, makeup wasn't as big as it is today, or at least eccentric makeup or editorial makeup wasn't more seen on the daily so i definitely knew certain looks i did like this is not an everyday thing you see you know so i don't always feel, feel self-conscious but confident at the same time so we are officially done with punchlines makeup look and i will be doing my hair off camera um just because my space isn't ideal for doing my hair i always do it in the bathroom so i'm gonna do a slick high pony attach my full bangs and put on a purple sweater she has a purple sheer top with a latex lace-up vest i don't know of anything of that sort so we're just gonna put on a purple top so here is the completed punchline transformation i feel the hair really completes this look and also the purple top is a nice touch as well so for my faux bangs i just always comb through them and go over them with a straightener and then for my ponytail i also went over with a straightener at the ends more specifically just so it's nice and straight and sleek and i totally wish i had a ponytail extension it would have made the transformation even more accurate and epic but i'm pretty satisfied with how it came out with the faux bangs and everything else yeah i'm super happy with how this one came out and i believe this is my first cosplay transformation but i love cosplay makeup and transformation so i would love to do more character transformations in the future let me know of any characters you would like me to transform into i would love to see your suggestions and try them out and yeah i mean massimo and i have been reading a lot of comic books lately so that's why i've been really inspired to try cosplay out and punchline is just such a badass and her whole look and aesthetic i adore i'm so excited to see Maximo's reaction to this transformation um because he was really excited when i told him yesterday i was going to be doing this look today so can't wait to see his reaction but yeah that is all from me for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see future videos of mine my social media links are always linked down below if you'd like to follow me I love you so much. Have a fabulous week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.